how to correctly set the time and date on your Durrani NVR. So first thing we need to do is just access the main menu just by right clicking the mouse and selecting menu, just a left click there. Now from the startup wizard that you followed through, you should have a pattern to draw. If your firmware doesn't look like this, all these videos are based on the new firmware, which you can upgrade. Uh, there is another YouTube video on how to do that. So if yours looks a little different, feel free to go ahead and do your upgrade before continuing. So all we need to do is draw the line that we have already done and that will get us into the main menu of the MVR. So set the time and date, it's a system setting. So we'll just left click into system and then we've got time. So we'll just left click onto time and we have all the protocols. So this part here is what is set up in the startup wizard when the MVR is first commissioned. And what we can do here is set daylight savings time. So in Melbourne, Sydney, uh, daylight saving starts in October and ends in April. So we need to go and set those those parameters here. So daylight saving starts October the first Sunday at 2 a.m. and finishes on April the first Sunday at 2 a.m. Now the, the daylight savings time bias is 60 minutes. It moves one hour forward and backwards. Now this needs to be done obviously Melbourne, Sydney, um, don't need to do in Queensland, there is no daylight savings time, so this is something that you can leave alone. Just make sure there's a tick in there, and then apply down the bottom and that will lock in that setting. So the NVR will automatically move the clock forward and back an hour based on these times. Another setting we can do is back on the time menu, is enable the auto update. So as long as you're collected, uh, connected to the internet, just pop a tick in enable auto update and enter the national time protocol server. So the one we use here in Australia is au.pool.ntp.org. So we enter that into there. Make sure your NTP port is 123. That is already preset, no need to change that. And you can select how often you want the MVR to check for a time update. So the preset is 10 minutes. You can choose however often you want it to, to look for the time. So if we leave it as 10 minutes and then hit apply. Now that's done there. Your MVR will search the National Time Protocol every 10 minutes. You can see the time has just changed here and will update accordingly. So once you've set those, just go to a time sync and just make sure that there is a tick in the sync camera time just to make sure that the MVR and the cameras are perfectly matched. This is on as default, but just to double check while you're already here, make sure there's a tick and apply. So again, this is done in the startup wizard. This here will check a National Time Protocol server every 10 minutes to make sure that the NVR is always accurate. And you must set the daylight savings time, obviously for Melbourne, Sydney, not necessary in Queensland. Once that has been done, your time and date will automatically update and everything is done for you.